how I generate high quality content that Google loves. We're gonna use ChatGPT to do this. Let's get started right now. So ChatGPT, as you probably know, is the most powerful AI program out there for generating content for your website to rank up in the search engines. And if you do it in a very sloppy way, you can get some okay content. But what I wanna talk about is how to get the best content possible that Google absolutely loves and have the best chance of ranking your website with SEO search engine optimization. So let's jump to my screen real quick. So once you open up your free account, you can use ChatGPT 3.5. If you want the paid version, you can use ChatGPT Four. This is the latest version as of the making of this video. This is what I typically use when I'm generating content for web designs that we do for our clients. So what most people do when they're writing content for the website, they'll just put something very simple and generic into the chat and they'll say something like, write website content for electrical contractor. And they'll get something similar to this which is okay. This is better than nothing, and it actually has a lot of good stuff that Google will like. So if you want the very basic and the minimum work done, so if you want something that's just okay or that's just good enough, you can copy and paste something like this onto your website and hope that Google likes it. But what I wanna show you is how to do something powerful that's gonna give you the very best chance of ranking. Not just good enough, but highest quality possible. And the way you do that is be more detailed, more specific. Some of the prompts that we put into ChatGPT are half a page long. And I'm gonna tell you what they include right now. Number one, you wanna tell ChatGPT to act as a role. So for example, if we are doing a website for an electrical contractor, then we're first gonna say, act as a website content writer that has knowledge of SEO. For example, if I'm generating content for an electrical contractor, then I would say something similar to, act as a website content writer that is an expert in local SEO. Write website content for an electrical contractor business. Now I'm gonna put that before I actually assign the writing task, okay? So that's gonna be the very first thing I put on any prompt that I'm doing for a local website or a local business. So that is going to be the number one thing I put before I start giving any assignments to ChatGPT for any website that I create for a client. So the second thing I do when I start writing a prompt is I actually give the task. So I'm gonna say something similar to this. Write content for a home page about residential electrical services that contains 700 to 800 words. So you see how specific I'm being on that second part right there? And I also wanna assign the number of words based on what the competition is ranking for. So before I do anything, I'm gonna do all my keyword research and I'm gonna be using the Google Keyword Planner to do this. And I'm also gonna be using a program called phrase.io. So if you look at my screen right here, phrase.io spelled with an F. And this is going to give me the competition, how many words the highest ranking competition has, the different keywords that they're using, and then I'm gonna use the Google Keyword Planner to determine which ones are more important and which ones I'm going to emphasize in the content when I have ChatGPT generate this content. So I have a whole other video on exactly how I use these tools to do keyword research. Go watch that video if you wanna see exactly how I do that to get the best possible keywords before I start writing content with ChatGPT. If you've liked what you've seen so far, please subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more free information where this came from to make your website rank, to make your Google business profile rank, and all kinds of tips, strategies that you can use and implement right away. Now, let's get back to the lesson. So the third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give specific information about the business. So right now I'm working with a local electrician here in Missoula, Montana. So here's an example of what I'm gonna tell JetGPT next when it comes to creating content that is specific to this business. I'm gonna say this is for a local electric in Missoula, Montana, the Bitterroot Valley and all nearby areas with 30 years experience and their phone number is, and then I'll say the exact phone number. That way ChatGPT will start integrating the business name, the phone number and the location into that content Okay, so it's less work for you once you get that. You don't have to edit as much. And of course, if, you do, if you're working with a local business or you are a local business, Google absolutely loves this and it will definitely help with your SEO. The next thing I'm gonna tell JetGPT is 
things that I want to emphasize. This is stuff that is specific to this business. So for example, this business wants a heavy emphasis on emergency services, fast response times, licensed and insured, and then they also want to emphasize that they have reasonable prices. So I'm going to tell JetGBT, emphasize the following, and then I'm going to put exactly what I just told you right there. Then I'm going to tell JetGPT to write this in first person or third person. Do you want it to sound like it's coming directly from the owner, or do you want to sound like somebody is writing about the business? That's up to you. Google doesn't have a preference on it. I personally choose first person for a small local business because I work with small home service businesses and I want it to sound like it's coming directly from the owner. I just think that works better for that type of business, but you need to decide on your own. So tell JetGPT, write this in first person or write this in third person. The next thing I do is tell JetGPT what tone to use. What tone do I want this written in? So usually I will say, write this in a friendly tone. But you can also say, write this in a serious tone. Write this in a professional tone. You can also say, write this in a goofy, funny tone. So it's up to you on how you want this to come off. And it kind of depends on the personality of you or the client you're working with. But I typically will say friendly tone because that's how I want it to come off when somebody lands on the website. They want to work with somebody friendly. They want to work with somebody that is going to make them feel comfortable. So that's the tone that I have ChatGPT write it in. Next, I will tell what grade level I want this content written in. So typically, I don't want to use big complicated words and I don't want this to be Pulitzer Prize winning. I want it to be very easy and simple for anybody to read. So I'll say, please write this in an eighth grade reading level. Okay, this makes it very easy to understand and very digestible by anyone, including Google, who comes to the website and wants to learn about this business. Now, different websites will want to emphasize different things. So another emphasis command that I will give ChatGPT is to write this in a educational or a customer service or in a way that just talks about the benefit. Any of those work, any of those are good. It just depends on the type of voice you wanna put out there. Do you want this to be educational or do you wanna just talk about how you emphasize customer service and how you take care of people? You can do both. I like to choose one or the other and some people only like to talk about the benefits. So you need to decide. Do you wanna include all this stuff or do you wanna emphasize one over the other? And then I like to say, Format this for SEO. So you're actually going to type that in. You're actually going to tell ChatGPT to format this for SEO. This can help with little things that you may not be aware of if you're not an SEO expert. They can actually help and guide the ChatGPT in creating something that Google likes even more. So say format in SEO and then follow that up by use the following keywords. So like I said before, I will do all my keyword research, my SEO keyword research. I will do that before I even open up ChatGPT because I want to be able to give them the best possible information. So, like I said, so let's jump to my screen and look how in-depth I get when it comes to keywords. And this is very important if you want the best chance of ranking. It's not just depending on AI, depending on ChatGPT. You also want to do your own human research to understand what people are searching for in your town for your services or your products. So, for example, let's look over here at this current one that I'm working on for my friend Jeff that is opening up an electrical contractor business here in Missoula, Montana. For the home page, I have all these different keywords and I got these keywords using the tools that I discussed before. And like I said, I have a whole nother video specifically on keyword research. I'll put a link down in the description below if you wanna watch that. But I just wanna give you an example that each one of these pages has extensive keyword research. And I'm also talking about the areas that we're servicing. And I'm also talking about all these little words that I want ChatGPT to include in there. Cause like I said, I want this to be spot on. I want Google to love it and I want humans to love it when they land on the website. So you can see how in-depth I go. So every time I write a page and I use ChatGPT to do that, I'm then telling ChatGPT to include all of these keywords. And then finally, I want to include FAQs, frequently asked questions. With Google's new helpful content update, it now prefers that on your website, on every single page of your website, you have some common questions and some answers. So if people type in these questions into Google, you have the best chance of coming up. So include a section, and you can even do a separate prompt for ChatGPT if you'd like. Include a section that says, include common questions and answers about electrical services in Missoula, Montana. ChatGPT will go out there and grab what they think are the best 
and then sometimes they'll give you 10 frequently asked questions. You can pick the top three, the top five, or you can include them all in there if you want, or you can create a separate page that is frequently asked questions on the website. Either way, like I said, Google absolutely loves questions and answers. So include that in the content somehow and let ChatGPT do all the heavy lifting. And that's it. I know that's a lot of information. If you need to rewatch this video, take notes, make sure you include everything, all the elements that I explained in here. And if anything new comes out, I will be coming out with new updated videos because this AI world is moving fast. So like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ask any questions in the comments below. I will get back to you. And if you want more information, free information on ranking your website or your Google business profile up on Google, then I have this free cheat sheet for you, which you can also download in the description. It is a free one page PDF. There are videos to every little step that we take to rank our clients' websites. You can do all this stuff. This is easy to understand information with step-by-step -step instructions. Once again, my name is Joe Burnage with BigWestAcademy.com and I will see you in the next video.